Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Today we're gonna try to install the Fisherman 25 electric anchor. It comes with the front piece, the electric anchor, the wire, auto reset switch, manual, and all the bolts. This the anchor does not come with it. You need to purchase separately. All right, let's see where we can put this on the boat. All right, we got some space here, not a lot. We're gonna have to try to see how we can fit it in here. I moved the electric engine a little more to the right to give it a little more space because the front piece should actually be in the front, but we'll have it a bit in an angle I mean, it's not the perfect situation, but we'll work with it. This is what it's gonna look like. I'm trying to put this front piece the most out possible because I don't want the anchor to hit the side of the boat when it comes up. We'll do our best with that. That would be the best scenarios to have it the most out possible. All right, let's continue. First, we're gonna start by marking where our holes are gonna be done. As you can see, I marked it. Next thing we're gonna do is take the cover off. Two screws here, two screws at the bottom, take the cover off so we can work with the plate at the bottom where we see the holes. Let's do that for now. With the cover off, don't forget, this is you're gonna need to unplug it to take the cover off this is the plug for the up down once you unplug it the cover will come right off you're gonna be able to mark where you want to make your holes a lot easier all right i'm gonna mark it here's another step i did i put the two bolts here to have the front and the winch together not everybody does this this is optional since i have a small area I kind of have to work with the minimum space. Hey guys, the next step is done. I put the winch. I aligned where I wanted to make the holes. And then I marked the rest of the holes. As you can see, I'm taking the winch off. There you go. Everything's marked. So I marked all of them, but in reality, they gave me seven screws. So I'm guessing three for the front and four for in the back. I marked this one, I'll show you why. As you can see, it's a bigger hole over here. I'm gonna pass my wires through this. I don't like my wires passing over here. I want them to go straight down. So they're out of the way. There's no way we're gonna get hooked on them and pull them and ruin our fishing day. All right, hole's done. One two three and four for the winch in the back and this one is for the wires we can bolt the winch down let's do that now that everything's bolted solid the whole bolt is moving that's my drill that fell all right now that it's bolted solid we're gonna put the cover on top because we don't want to mess with the wires let's not forget to pass the wire in the hole we made before putting the cover on. And the next step is to pass the wires all the way to the back of the boat. Now, I'll show you a trick how to do that. Here's another little trick before passing the wires in the hole. You wanna unroll these completely. You don't wanna leave them rolled. All you're gonna do is create yourself problems. Unroll it completely and just extend it. And when you're ready to pass your wire, you grab the end, you put it where you want, and you pull the whole wire in. I'm gonna cut the, these out and I'm gonna re-put them at the end because to pass the wire all the way to the back, there's little space. So these little rings might get in the way. So I'm gonna cut them off and put new ones. All right, guys, I passed the wires in the hole. Here's a little trick. I put a tie wrap here, tight. So when I pull, it stops where it gets to the hole. So this never gets tight. 
So even when I put the cover on or whatever, if I'm pulling at the bottom, I know this is not gonna get tight. A little trick. It's optional. All right, guys, cover back on. Wires pass through the hole. I can pull on them because the tie wrap is blocking it from pulling inside. So we're ready to pass the wires all the way in the back of the boat. So my trick is every time you pass a wire, always pass a string with it. So right now I have a string that goes from the front of the boat to my cabinet over here. Then we're gonna go from there. Oh, we have another string over there to pass all the way in the back. So you tie your wires to the string with tape and you tie a new string to it. I took it orange so you can see the difference between the two. So you'll have a new string once you've passed your wires. All right, I'm gonna do my setup and pull the strings and the wires. I'll show you that in a moment. All right guys, this is what it looks like. Sorry for the sun and the shade. Your string is taped to your red wire. Then for the back, I have the black wire about here because you don't want this point to be too big in case it gets blocked somewhere. So you always want it from smaller to bigger. It's a little easier to pass the wire. At the end, white wire still comes out and I've attached the orange wire to it. So the new wire, wire, string will be passed in case you need to pass new wire later on. All right, I'm gonna pull my string and show you how it works. All right, I started passing my wire. Always gotta feed it in the front. You don't want it to be, you don't wanna be pulling on the string tight. You don't want the string to break. So once you're close to the end, grab your string. Look at that, everything came through. And look at that, your new wire is here while well, your new string in case you want to pass new wires next time and you do that the same thing from here to all the way in the back wherever you have your holes always pass a string to pass wires all right guys here's an update i passed the wires from the front all the way to the back the red and black don't forget to install the auto reset circuit so red will go to here and the bronze will go to the plus of the battery and of course the black wire guess where ground negative of the battery all right i'll be back with the connections done all right wiring is done we have the winch that passes here i put a 20 amp fuse there's the auto reset circuit breaker can't get more protection than that. Let's go check if it works. Here we go. Test number one. Where's the button? Here we go. Yeah. Looking good. If you have any questions with the wiring, put them below. I will answer. All right, guys. We're one of the final stages. We're going to attach the anchor to it. What we're going to do is loosen up the rope a little, pull it out, pass it through this hole here, of course. And we're going to attach the anchor that's right there. I'll get back to you once it's attached. All right, anchor's attached. I'm not really crazy about the anchor shackle that came with it. It's pretty small. I'm probably going to change it for a bigger one. But the rest of the stuff on this fisherman anchor is pretty good. I can't complain. I'm just not really happy with this. It's a little small. We'll change it. No big deal. Let's try it. Let's hope it works great. Boom. Perfect. Let's go down. Back up. Does exactly what it's supposed to do. I hope this helped. Thank you for watching.